I come to the 15th installment of the Gnosis Chain while later meet up. Hope, uh, can you hear me? Uh, or any problem? It's okay, right? Uh, everything is great. Yeah. Perfect. Everyone. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you, Igor. Uh, in this meeting, my name is Arman. In this meeting, I will share updates uh, relevant to validators on the Gnosis chain and news from the, our ecosystem. Our dear core developer, Igor, will share updates from a technical perspective. And finally, the Bootnode team will introduce us to the validator monitoring pod they have developed. Let's get started. Okay, I want to show my screen. Uh, just just wait a second. Share my screen. Perfect. Oop. Just a wait. Just a wait. Do it. Mm. Sorry, guys. I have a little bit stuck. Yes, this one. Thank you for your patience. Oh, yeah. Go live. All right. Can you see my screen? All yeah. right. Here is the our updates. First, uh, first of all, I want to introduce uh, our get integration. Um, with the with the get integration, uh, our first major, major updates. Uh, I can mention the, the get integration on the Gnosis chain with the get client running on the Gnosis chain. Our um, our client diversity will significantly progress soon after the adding of Aragon and Nimbus. Uh, get will also be actively running on the Gnosis chain. Uh, the, the, our core developers uh, currently on testing the final version, uh, and then we will complete the documentation and make it available for the for validator to use. So it's a significantly uh, important progress, I believe. Yeah, this is much much better. Oh yeah, uh, our motto is. Make get minority client on Gnosis chain. <laughs> so the second one is a shutter network transaction. Uh, as you know, the the uh, previously shutter deployed the alpha keeper testnet on Chiado, and a few months ago, and then the first test transaction took place at last week. Um, we are waiting for the complete of the, these tests and then uh, mainnet integration. The full integration expected two or three months later. Uh, I will share more details about that. The next one is a uh, Obol uh, Gnosis Chain uh, cluster integration. As you know, the DBT provides an important security layer for validators. And Obol network clusters test on the Gnosis chain. Uh, the purpose of this test is to measure the cluster performance and identify necessary contract configuration. Um, as you know, the reward for the consensus and execution layer are different tokens. Uh, the execution layer sending the x day consensus layer is giving a GNO. Uh, and this this configuration should be made considering this situation in the distribution of rewards. I will share more detailed info after the test. And uh, Obol team also will provide a test result for us. Uh, I will share with you. Next one is 
Pectra and Max Effective Balance. Uh, Pectra uh, and Max Effective and also Max Effective Balance proposal uh, is planning to end of the year. And Max Effective Balance will be enabled on the Gnosis chain by for the especially for the small stakers is super important. It will allow the small stakers to reduce cost and make the network participation rate uh, much much higher and also more stable. The next one. Can you share? Can you track my screen? The I think. Uh, oh yeah, nice. Perfect. Next one is Stakewise. Yesterday, Stakewise team shared an announcement about the version 3 integration of Gnosis chain. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's provide a good alternative uh, for those who want to engage in liquid staking or uh, creating their own pool in Stakewise. Uh, the, we expect it to activate it at the beginning of the June. So, excited to have you stackwise. Next one is uh, today I shared on the validator channel is a new deposit UI and auto claim function. Uh, our internal team has completed the design and content site for the improving the deposit UI. And we are now preparing the launch. Uh, and much and the, as a, um, much much better function is that auto claim uh, will also be possible with the, this update. I'm sure Egor will share more info about that. And yeah, we are preparing a new campaign with Depnot team. Uh, we plan to start the campaign in the third week of May, which is a same day the DAPCON. Uh, for, for this purpose, we have prepared a box design and a, we shared a four different box package design. Um, feel free to uh, pick your favorite design. Uh, I'll share a link for that after the, my uh, presentation. And this campaign planned to adding more uh, solar stakers using Adapt Not. Please don't forget to vote for design you like. And lastly, as you know, uh, the validatenosis.com and D49 info are currently under maintenance. Uh, we are redesigning Validate Gnosis and also the D49 also and it will available as soon as possible because of the Validate Gnosis design and content site is finished uh, D49 for D49 which is a, a, health, health, or, a health dashboard it includes a health dashboard uh, you can you can track on the uh, active validators and some consensus and execution layer client usage. Uh, we need a we, we need a little bit more time for that. Uh, the launching a D49 because of the we our new uh, blockchain analyst joined us a few weeks ago, so he's working on this purpose. And also, I would like to share some information about the validator onboarding program. This program is designed for the improve the experience for those who want to join Gnosis Chain as node operator and to contribute to the setup and performance process through hand-on workshops. It will consist of three models and we aim to introduce participants to give detailed information uh, our chains detailed information, our tools, and introdu introducing our uh, uh, new new uh, tools, such as uh, Deposit UI and uh, the other tools. 
I'll share more info about that. And yeah, this this program also focusing on the 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 upcoming Hopper Notes onboarding program. Uh, maybe you know the the Hopper proposal, Gnosis VPN proposal is on the snapshot. Uh, feel free to vote it. And this proposal includes uh, uh, onboarding Hopper uh, profi- Hopper Note operators into the into the Gnosis chain. So yeah, uh, really excited to have Hopper Note operators. And uh, that's all my update site. Uh, I will now hand over to Egor for more technical uh, updates. And then we will listen to the validator monitoring bot uh, developed by the Bootnot team. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Herman. Uh, and yeah, hello, everyone. Uh, as was said, my name is Igor. And I will, I'm Gnosis Chain Core Developer. And I will gi- I'll try to give you more like uh, deep updates about uh, what's coming next for Gnosis and what's done right now. Uh, and uh, first, I would like to talk about autoclaims. So it's been a while since uh, withdrawals arrived with the Chapella hard fork. And now finally, we are almost ready to uh, present present this tool. So current status is uh, smart contracts is ready, and uh, some of the team members are working on UI, which is not very extensive. So I hope it should be pretty much ready soon. And uh, basically, how it's done. So this feature is uh, utilized using PowerPool which is a network of uh, keepers and that allow you to create sort of jobs and uh, for specific additional fee those keepers network give you guarantee that uh, those job will be executed if it meets some like state requirements etc so from my view, it's more because uh, to claim rewards, uh, somebody should claim. And it's not very Web 3.0 to have uh, our own self-hosted tool that will like uh, call those claims for all the validators who are subscribed. So those sort of decentralized solution is more corresponds to Web 3.0 nature, I guess. Uh, of course, we will give uh, you more detailed update once it will be production ready. But in the short term, user flow will be pretty easy. It will be part of deposits UI. Uh, you will be able to opt in with your account that you are used for withdrawals. As a validator, you will be able to set up thresholds, sort of requirements to claim. Uh, you can choose like time uh like frequency how often claim should be executed or amount of gno and if one of those requirements will be met for example claim every week or claim once your amount of rewards meet some value if one of requirements will be met then rewards will be like distributed to you automatically and i hope it will be ready pretty much soon uh, on the client's uh, side there are not much news except uh, get support for gnosis chain that arman mentioned uh, currently uh, it's synced up to the head as i know and uh, the next step for uh, go firm is to uh, bring the snap sync uh, and one more time, snap sync is uh, the fastest way to sync your node up to the head. It will take just a couple of hours to sync your node, but once feature will be ready, uh, it will require resync if you have like uh, already synced node. For example, Nethermind is also working on this uh, feature right now for Gnosis Chain. Uh, you'll have to, if you want this feature to be like uh, 
opted in since like for example nethermind will drop new release with the snap sync support then you will have to resync your node uh, there are also a proposal and idea uh, it's pretty much i guess old proposal to make gino canonical to gnosis chain uh, and now we internally have an idea on how we can make it without requiring hard work. And uh, if it will work, if we will get acknowledgement that this way of do this will work and the uh, community will agree on this proposal that we are going to do that and make Gino canonical, it will be super cool to just apply this uh, feature without hard forking. So except that there are no pretty much news on the client side so client teams are working on uh, implementing features for the next upcoming hard fork which is called pectra uh, also aragon client added like state pruning option so it's not necessary now to have archival node if you want to run aragon you can prune your state and nethermind also preparing some new updated storage model that will be more efficient previously also um, we had a bug on the depth node so the ergon client and tico client was not able to work together and now it's fixed it so feel free to try those uh, two clients together uh, to support client diversity, of course. And I guess that's all from my side. Thanks for listening. Back to you, Arman. Thank you, Gar, for the super valuable information. Um, any questions? I think we have a question from the Manu. Uh, is Autoclaim sponsored by Gnosis? Yes. Uh, so we consider it to uh, to sponsor it because um, from my like assumptions and calculations and we are all agreed on the team that it will be not uh, it will be negligible amount of Gino because like just for example to uh, to 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 utilize a full block on Gnosis chain like thirty million of gas with your data uh it takes only like it, it, it's less than one dollar i guess it's 0 0.25 or something or, or something it's based on the gas price so 30 million of gas is a lot uh we have no such uh many validator keys like with their all credentials uh, to even probably we have but it's it's not it, it's still not that much so we can claim for uh, every validator on the network multiple times and it will not exceed like ten dollars i guess also based on the on the gas price so at this point it's uh, just easier to sponsor and see how it goes and probably if we will face any issues we will consider other model but for now it's yeah it's sponsored by us Thank you. Any questions? Um, yep, I think we have no questions. Yes, uh, next stop is a uh, not team. Uh, they will introduce, they will show, uh, they will telegram monitoring bot. Uh, Manu or Nico, who wants to hold on? Hello, hello. Nico is, uh, is here. I'm team of the I'm part of the team of Bootnow, and I will try to share the screen. So I can show you one sec. This one. So this is to share with you a screenshot on how the bot looks like. So basically, our motivation to start developing a bot <clears throat> was a few months ago. The GNO price was like 120 or so. 
So paying for the Bitcoin chain service was quite elevated for my account, for, for the amount of validator I was running. So I decided to implement a solution that helped me to, to keep the performance of, of all my validators in one single place, like summarizing all the, the important information and being notified if one of my validators went, uh, went off because of a, a electricity po a problem or internet or whatever. So <laughs> I started digging a bit the, the tools that were available and I found that the uh, Beacon Chain uh, team was providing an API. So I started using it in order to, to get all the stats that I need and what you are uh, seeing here is the outcome of, of some work that I've done. And basically it summarizes like the performance for all my validators, what's the percentage of attestations uh, based on the last 100, the effective balance and the amount claimable for the bot and, and when was the bot uh, last updated, like this dashboard. So after testing it for a, a few time, uh, I, I invited Manu to help me as he was running uh, Validator 2. We mm, polished some functionality <coughs> and then we decided that we may pay for the APA on, on Beacon Chain and make it open for some other validators and receive feedback and see if the, this tool was valuable for the community. We received a uh, fantastic feedback. We created a, a Telegram uh, channel to so users can provide support, uh, can receive support. They provide us a lot of feedback, propose new features. Uh, well, everything was okay. So after running it for two or three months, uh, we decided it was time to create a proposal for the DAO. So we can keep this tool uh, alive. And well, we are on, on this stage where <clears throat> the proposal is open. We have received a lot of feedback. Uh, and basically, we are really motivated to, to keep this uh, going. So basically, that was a, a quick introduction. Manu, would you like to add something else? Can I talk now? Hello? Yeah, we you can hear you. Me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, okay, awesome. Uh, hey all, nice to see you. Nice to talk to you. Um, no, 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 not much. It's uh, that we have been iterating. I think that we will iterate uh, uh, a third time in the pro with the proposal. We have learned a lot from the feedback and we hope, yeah, we've been quite busy, but we hope that um the following days in the following days we can uh, share a new uh, proposal with a, a more refined scope and uh, refined uh, terms um, that can be yes considered final and easier for the uh, gno holders uh, to decide whether they fund or not such a, such a project Uh, I will share on the link, uh, monitoring link, monitoring, uh, well, to, validator monitoring bot link on the chat. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, feel free to try it. Any questions? Yes, it's limited to 20, <laughs> to 200, sorry, um, only. Um, but I, I don't know you guys, I, I just love it because I have the, all the, besides the, the performance and all the notifications, and I even checked the GNO price there. <laughs> just to give you, I, <laughs> just to give you an idea. I, it uh, yeah, gives me some updates and I have all the performance there. And if we can also add some network, 
uh, overall uh, status and information. Uh, I love Telegram. I don't like native applications or email. So, yeah. Yeah, we have some some new cool feature to add, like the amount of XDI, uh, the rewards of on XDI, the effective value, the effective APY, and other cool stuff that we are eager to implement. Yes, and also has um, auto claiming. Uh, I don't know if it is automatically done, but it's yes, you just yes launch a command there in the Telegram and. Um, there is a, an account behind the scenes that I claim for you. Thank you, Manu. Um, and also Nico for the super valuable contribution. And also feel free to join the uh, forum proposal. And if you have any thoughts, please add it on to the forum. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll always thank you for the valuable contribution. I think we have reached the time. Uh, if you have any questions or any thoughts, any ideas, feel free to share now. Or we'll close the, the, the one later meetup. Hey, Armagan, would it be okay to make like a small announcement? It's curious. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Yes, please. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, yeah, hey, everyone. I uh, hope you're doing great. Uh, this is Kirill here from Stakewise. I um, kind of am in charge of uh, the launch of V3 on, on Gnosis Chain. Uh, we've just made an announcement about that yesterday, and the actual deployment is currently expected in early June. Um, what I wanted to mention, uh, you know, I recognize that many people here are from the Gnosis team itself, but perhaps, you know, this is going to be just one of the series of uh, uh, kind of communications that, that we do on this topic. Um, we currently have just three operators in Stakewise, so ourselves um, and the and two others uh, controlling a big chunk of the network. So you may know that we have paused new deposits uh, specifically because we are concerned about the um, relative share that, that our, our uh, protocol of, of stake that our protocol controls on Gnosis. And so one of the goals for the upcoming V3 release is to not only, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, reduce the reliance on these free operators, but also, uh, I guess, get broader participation from the Gnosis community in running validators for other people. And uh, Stakewise V3 as a product is uh, perfectly suited for that. The way that it works is uh, anyone who is capable of running a node uh, is able to deploy effectively their own staking pool and accept deposits on Gnosis chain in Geno, on Ethereum in ETH, um, but for this case specifically Geno, and uh, stake it on users' behalf. Um, users are able to unstake at any time. Actually, you will not be in control of this process because we require exit signatures to be submitted in advance, and we basically handle all of the flows into and out of staking for the ultimate user and people who deploy their own staking pools called vaults, they really just run the nodes and make sure they do, the, do it well. And uh, if they do it well, they collect a fee from the rewards that, that Gino earns. And uh, naturally, since we're a liquid staking platform, we also allow users to mint uh, a liquid staking token to represent their stake position and then go use that LST in uh, the Gnosis uh, ecosystem. So what we're going to uh, need, and uh, I guess uh, I'm just sharing this in advance of our public communication about it, is many more operators 
um, within Stakewise V3. M more people that are running um, vaults uh, on Stakewise V3 on Gnosis chain. And uh, really, you know, there are all sorts of questions involved in this, starting from economics to like the technicals. But uh, the crux is that we have about 30,000 GNO that is currently sitting unallocated uh, to any nodes that we will likely need to distribute between different new vaults. So essentially new node operators. And so this amount may be reduced in the end because some of that unbonded amount will uh, will be used for processing withdrawals if people do want to withdraw money from the platform once they have the opportunity to do so. Uh, but yeah, we still expect that we will end up with several thousand GNO ready to be staked on essentially new nodes. And this will represent an opportunity to, yeah, decentralize Gnosis chain further, reduce network's reliance on stakewise and its uh, kind of core operators and boost i would imagine small businesses and individuals provided um, we kind of have a good relationship with them uh, and, and set some expectations for how these nodes need to be run so what i would invite you to do at this point is basically take a look at what stakewise v3 is and how the vault system uh, runs um we obviously you know will release gnosis specific docs in a due course but the way that ethereum docs are written right now is very applicable and uh, yeah would invite you to look out for more information about how we want to run this effort to attract more node operators so that in case you're interested in participating you would be among the first ones to, I guess, apply or like make a case for um, your vault being one of the ones that will receive the um, the ETH that sorry the GNO that needs to be staked. So, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to drop. Um, I think there was already some link, already some links dropped in the chat, but I'm going to drop a few others about stakewise and vaults specifically uh, but yeah um, keep your um, eyes peeled uh, for that kind of information in case you're interested thank you thank you for the super important and valuable information uh, Kirill. i think we should organize a new uh, uh, sessions about the uh, stakewise version 3 integration on Gnosis chain because uh, there, there are lots of uh, important and useful uh, things going on, um, especially in the solo stakers, uh, solo node operators uh, can create their own benefit with creating their own uh, pool on Stakewise, which is a great uh, fit for that, fit for us. Um, yeah. Uh, Thank you for participating in the, uh, this meetup. Uh, hope everyone uh, gets some updates uh, about Gnosis Chain and everyone are happy right now. Uh, next one is, uh, it will happen on May. Uh, I will share uh, the exact date for that and see you on Chain. Thank you for participating. Thank you all. Thanks, Armageddon. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.